Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video where I will show you how to use the new FSI Panel 2020 with A2A fleet. A2A fleet include the Cessna 172, the Cessna 182, the uh, Piper Cherokee and the Piper Comanche. So let's have a look how to fly. Now we don't need to import aircraft as it was the case before on the old version of FSI Panel. We just need to load it in P3D. So first of all, if you load P3D and FSI panel together without any aircraft compatible, you will see this message uh, detected compatible aircraft NA, no aircraft has been found. So let's go to P3D and select an E2A aircraft. So for this example, I will just use the Cessna 172. You can select any A2A fleet, it will be the exact same procedure. So just go OK. Any airport you want, doesn't matter. Press OK and now the aircraft will load. What is important now, guys, will be to have the engine running. So let's see if the engines are running. Yeah, the engine is running, so it's a single engine. So we're going to make sure that our engine is running. 1000 RPM, huh? this is what we usually do. And that our avionic is on. All avionic is on. That's all we need to make sure. Engine's running, avionic on. Now we are ready basically to fly. So I can go in, P, in a FSI panel. I see that my Cessna 172 has been detected. Perfect. So now let's fly the left hand vectors for this ILS. For example, I can keep this airport, which is fine. That's the one we are sitting now. So I will just put the left hand vector and I will click move aircraft. So now the aircraft is move to the right position. I just need now to adjust my power lever to maintain the right approach speed. Okay. So you see my approach speed now. I'm on vector, so around 90 knots will be good on the Cessna 172. And everything stabilized now with the autopilot. And you have a message on top here. Aircraft ready for your training. Hold your brake for two seconds to take control. So there, we don't need to worry if we are moving forward. You see that now we are traveling, in fact. There is no problem because when I will take over the control, I will be brought back to the initial position. So now if I'm ready to take over the control, let's hold my brake. And now I'm back and I have control. So now I could use my autopilot here and arm the approach. And you can see that my ILS has been set up for me there. So now the aircraft will fly this approach. All right, so let's try a short final. So I go back to FSI panel. I will select the same airport, short final, move aircraft. Here we are in short final. So here again, make sure your speed is what you want. So usually around 70 knots. The flaps should be full, that's the case. And we are just going to maintain, oh, I did something wrong with the thrust, sorry about it, with the power, sorry about it. Let's see. Okay, we are back into business. So small correction on the uh, on the uh, power level. When everything stabilizes, we'll be able to take over control. So here we are basically coming from um, positions where the flaps were only were up to a flaps full. So it's more complicated for FSI panel to trim the aircraft properly due to the autopilot. Now we see that we're almost ready. Everything seems to be fine. I have the message on top. So I hold the brake for two seconds and I will be brought back to the right position. So hold the brake. I'm in the right position. Now we'll try to arm approach. And we can see that localizer will be captured and glide slope is coming very soon. So now I can fly this approach. As you can see, we are moving ahead. Glide slope is coming. Glide slope should get captured. My speed is correct. And now I can fly this approach, do the landing, and we'll get a landing report. So let's try this approach. I hope I will not flare at 50 feet. So let's give it a try and see.
All right, we are back on short final. I've been a little bit high on the profile. So we will see that on the landing report. I will try to land on the first 300 meters, which is good for a single engine piston aircraft. So let's have a look at the landing. I always have to concentrate when I fly this kind of small aircraft. I love it. It's been a long time that I didn't fly uh, a Cessna. I hope that one day I'll be able to to fly it again in the US because this is really something I love. So let's see the landing now. Last time a friend of mine gave me the control in the US in uh, Connecticut and I flared very high. I have the video, I will not post it, otherwise you will be really shouting at me. So now let's see this landing. All right, so the speed is good. I will retard the, over the threshold. All right, let's cut it and let it go down, let it go down. Okay, flare, flare, okay, not too much. All right. Oh, yo, 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 I think it's usable again. All right, <laughs> we landed, we can see the landing distance, 336 meters, not too bad. Touchdown, yeah, it could be better. Let's have a look at the landing report. So I'm gonna put 1,000 feet, 1,000 RPM, parking brake. I go back to FSI panel. Ah, so not on the center line, but the, the landing distance was good. And we can see as well that I was a bit high as expected, but not bad as we are flying VFR. All right. So this is the way you fly with uh, A2A fleet and the FSI panel 2020. I hope you liked it, guys. If you have any comment, any question, please drop it below. I wish you, as always, a very safe landing. Stay safe and see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.